I got a haircut. Ah! So what we're going to be doing today is we are going after the rest of this map we have here. We're probably we're probably we're going to be going after these main retail areas. Off camera, I cleared a good amount of these suburbs over here. We're going to be clearing mainly the retail areas, and of course, going to that grocery store that's over there. During my travels, I found a ton of shotgun ammo, so we're going to be using shotguns today. And I found a Glock 17, so that is going to be the main pistol we are using. I found a battery charger, tons, just tons of food and stuff, and got jumped by multiple people. So one of our main goals today is to try and get a working vehicle. Just none of the vehicles we have in this parking in the parking lot now are any good, really. I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa! So in the last video, we cleared out. We pretty much got started on all of this. We cleared out the courthouse. We searched a couple of areas. We begin. We searched the courthouse. We went through the police station. We got our base back, and we're mainly just doing what took over seven episodes in three hopefully because i want to get to that place soon i want to get to the army surplus store like recent like soon because i'm not spending seven episodes going back to a place that i wasn't supposed to die at before all right first retail area a bakery what do we have we have zombies that's what we have Ooh, we have we have a lot of perishable stuff so that's good actually that's that's good Wait, we have milk. American Psycho to kill a mockingbird, Treasure Island. Man, we're getting some good material to read. So while I am raiding this convenience store, I believe we have time for an entry. To the Shopping Car Chronicles. All right, so it is the beginning of my, of this job at Albertsons. I just started maybe a week ago, I would say. And I'm outside, sh I'm outside pushing carts, right? And we have a strap that we use to pretty much link the carts together so they don't go flying off somewhere. And I'm just out there just pushing carts, doing my thing, and I didn't use it at first because I didn't need to. I have the arm span of a pterodactyl. I don't exactly need the, the cart strap because I can just hold on to five of them because that's the max is five or if it's after eight o'clock, as many as you can carry. So I'm out there and the old store manager comes up. Let's like, we're gonna call her Grace because I pretty much despise this lady. She's not there anymore. She left actually recently. Thank goodness. I think pretty much everyone in that store besides her favorites are happy she's gone. I'm out there pushing cards and she says, don't forget your strap on. In the middle of a parking lot. Okay. At first, I didn't know what she meant. She was, I was like, huh? What do you mean strap on? Exactly what are you trying to explain to me, woman? What does strap on mean in your eyes? She never explained. And I pretty much never talked. I only talked to her a combined total of like three times. And that was unwilling, by the way. The only times I would ever talk to her is when she would yell at me for something. You, here, you know what? You're getting a free. You know what? You're getting a free one today. One more part of the shopping cart crumb. So, I I know I understand now why Grace yelled at me. Like it's fair, it's company policy. But at the time, I didn't see it as a big deal. But now I'm like, far, far, fine, whatever. One of the cashiers was cashiering, and something like called her attention to me and she needed to leave like really quickly it was like an emergency thing so i thought it'd be a good idea to you know scan some items for her get get the line moving right and i was doing this and then one of the managers comes up and she says no 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 do not do that that is a big big no and i question i'm like why i'm just scanning items like what's the problem and at the time i didn't understand and she's like because i'm 19 Apparently, I can't be a cashier for some dumb reason. Oh, what if you pick up alcohol? Blah, 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 blah. I'm not selling it. I'm scanning it. I'm picking... I'm literally... Hoit. Beep. Bop. All done. But no! I, I, I'm i not allowed to do that. That's like a cardinal sin in the eyes of my, of my freaking state. 
so anyway. I, I'm standing there and she comes to me and she says, no, 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 you can't do that. And I'm like, why not? She, ex she like, therefore explains, I'm like, okay, fine, never mind then. I already got yelled at by that, all right? One, if you yell at me one time about one thing, I'll be mad, but I, I'll get over it very quickly. If you yell at me a second time from someone else, then I'm gonna be furious. I literally just started two minutes ago and I'm near the time clock. I'm just sit I'm just hanging out there for a second before I start because I, I usually go in early. And she comes up to me, she's like, hey, so according to one of the managers, you were scanning stuff. You know you're not allowed to do that, right? I, I didn't even look at her. I didn't even look at Grace. I'm like, yeah, I know. And she's like, is this a common occurrence? And I said, no, it's not a common occurrence. And she's like, okay, will you not ever do it again? I said, yep. No, I, I, I didn't even do that. I said, mm-hmm. She's like, okay. And you know what solidified it? Was when like, okay, pause game. If you are ever a manager, you never do this. Okay where you clap your hands on the table to end the conversation. If you do that, you are a terrible manager. You are not easing tensions at all by getting a little drum roll on the table. You are making it worse by every single margin. Or you, you are telling me you are a bad manager if you do something like that. There's a difference between telling being a good manager and a bad manager. See, a bad manager will do stuff like that. We'll say, will you not ever do it again? Okay. And a good manager, I'm going to go to my mother. Because she was a retail manager for 30 plus years. What she would do was, you know what? It's a mistake. We all make one. You're doing pretty good though. All right. This thing, I really appreciate you doing that. Awesome. You did a fantastic job. The only thing I'll ask you is that this was a mistake. If we can just leave it there, that'd be great. Once again, thank you for doing, once again, it, it's a mistake, we all make it. I just asked that you not do it again, but thank you for doing this. Like, you're pretty epic for doing that, right? Okay, thank you very much, I appreciate you. There, job done. Yet again, sometimes like, I get it, you have to be like that, I get that, I really do. Like, you have to like be stern, like, hey, these some of these things, you can't be doing that. Like. It's, I'm sorry, I don't mean to yell at you, but it's just the way it is right now. You can't be doing these kind of things. There is need for that. I agree completely. But you do not need to do it for something, one, so small that like, oh, big deal, I scanned items. And something, and just in general, you can't, you can't do that. You have lost the respect of your customers and your employees when you act like that. If you lost respect for your employees, you lost it all. Because those are the people working for you, for crying out loud. Well, that concludes the Shopping Cart Chronicles. I hope y'all enjoyed. So anyway, through the, through the Shopping Cart Chronicles, we have found a heck ton of perishable stuff. And just, we got a ton of stuff from that convenience store. I do know that once we go to the, what's the name? The grocery store, we will find a, a lot more. We're not going thirsty. We're not going hungry either. We are going to, though. Smash this lady's face with my boot. Who is banging on the door? Well, it's you. Well, you're gonna get a face full of buckshot. Probably the most rude awakening that that zombie has ever seen. He has been banging on that door for months. And as soon as it opened, he dies. It's, that's okay. We don't need to. What? Are you serious? There's a freaking hole in my sock. Look, look at that. What is that garbage? I risked it all to freaking take a screenshot. Hang on a minute. Separate this guy. 
We need to come back to him. What in the actual hell is this? I think I shot you. Anyway. What is this guy doing? Freaking postal. Is Hi this there. postal, Would you like dude? To sign my petition? Gee, postal man, what do you have to say about this one? Damn, here I was minding my own business, just enjoying my Second Amendment rights. And you people have to freak out on me. What? <laughs> it actually is him. It's his petition. I will sign it. Gee, Postal Man, I didn't know all that weed you did made you so cool. This can't be good for me, but I feel great. Please be good. So this is the new plan. We're going to get this bus filled up because this is the only working vehicle in the premises that I have confidence in. And we're gonna... That's a horde. I don't have ammunition. I have an idea. <laughs> this could be the worst idea I've ever had. Or the best. It is the next day. We gotta collect them. We gotta get them all in here. You see what they call me? They call me the danger. They call me the Reckless. They call me Frank Horgan. Our playthrough is two episodes in, and it could end right here. I'm willing to take the risk, because it's funny. I don't know how much I, of this I signed up for, but uh, maybe I should have brought more ammo. Oh boy. <laughs> this could be the end. No, it ain't the end. It's only the beginning. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We found a Ghostbuster. Engine is now dead. It's fine. You know what they call me? They call me the demolitionist. Ho, 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 baby. Come on, keep it spreading, keep it spreading. Two episodes in, this is gonna be great. Just keep it spreading, let it spread. Oh, Lord in heaven. We're getting the juice done now. Oh, we didn't even get half of them yet. Take it over here. Come on. Chop, chop. We still have so many zombies over here. We gotta get them over here. That's that's our main objective. We have to spread the fire to them, and we just need to collect them all. Is the fire spreading? Oh, yes. <laughs> Come on. Get over here, man. It's a party. How much do we have? Jesus Christ. <laughs> to talk about talk about pizza burn. Oh, hang on. I want to gather them up a little closer before I start using my other tools of mass destruction. Oh, I think yeah, they're starting to die. <sighs> All right, send it. Dude, they're dropping like flies! Look at them! That fire, they are, they're not just, they're not grilled, they are charred now. Oh my lord. Okay, put the RPG away, put the RPG away. It is useless now. Oh, there's even like a tiny horde over there. And by the way, zombie spawn is off, so none of these guys are respawning. When they are dead, they are dead for good. All right, thin, thin the herd, thin the herd. Okay. That just happened. So quick little overview of what the hell just happened. My original plan was to go over to the gas station and fill the bus right over there. And what we found is a horde. We found an entire horde of zombies, right? This is on the test. Our, my plan was, you know what, I should maybe avoid the gas station for now. Might be a little smarter. No. My plan was instead was, 
Hey. <laughs> yeah, remember that RPG I found? Let's use it. The engine is dead. It is gone. <laughs> that is pure irony. The vehicle that transports the dead got hit by the vehicle that keeps the living alive. Hey. I know we broke up, but the old one died, so can we get back together again? Thanks, man. Alright, so before we continue our plan, we're gonna do a very quick inspection of this place, also known as stealing. You know, I'm gonna visually inspect every item and put it in my in my no good bag if I don't see it as perfectly fit for the customers. Yes, it does look like a duffel bag. That does not mean I'm stealing it. Stealing is a very harsh word, I would say. I would say visually inspecting is better. This water bottle can't be having that Doritos. No, that doesn't. That, I don't think that. I don't think the customer like those. Like those, honestly. You know what? I will take that. All right, tortilla chips. I'm on the fringe about it, honestly. I don't think a customer likes these. I think these are kind of like out of style, honestly. Gummy worms, same thing. Who likes gummy worms anymore? Like, ew, worms. My visual inspection of the store has been complete. And like, just look at my confiscation bag. Like, I cannot believe all that this establishment has employed these, these kind of products for their customers. It's unbelievable, honestly. Like that's, that place should go out of business if, if I'm gonna be the judge about it. If, if I were a visual inspector, which I am, it says on my name badge right here. See that? See? See that skeleton? That That's me. I would close down the place because, like, it's unbelievable. There, there were so many products that had to be taken away. I couldn't fit them all because all of them were bad because in my duffel bag, I mean my confiscation bag. I couldn't, I just couldn't fit it as, I just couldn't fit it because there was so much of it. This is going to take a while. Super time lapse. Whoa! Okay, time lapse is over, and this video is over. We got a heck ton done today. We did a lot. We we stopped a hoard. We robbed a grocery. I mean, we inspected a grocery store. We cleared out multiple areas, and we we just we we just did a lot. Like bam. Bam, 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 bam. Like, we did a lot more than I was expecting to do this video. So, I want to thank you guys for coming along with me on this video. It is currently about 1.55 a.m. I'm going to start editing this video soon, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.